Now, Marie, here we go. Okay, first job I want to start the, with the number of jobs that were lost. The estimate was 8 million. It looks like we've lost 2.5 million. Again, uh, excuse me, we gained 2.5 million. Is that correct, Rachel? We gained 2.5 million? That's what we're seeing right now. Okay, unemployment, let's see, April payrolls revised. Let me see here. Labor force participation rate, 60%. Estimate for unemployment, 19.8%. We came in at 13.3%. But again, I got to go back to this, and I had to recheck this. The estimate was for a loss of 8 million jobs. We, what we're seeing right now is we gained 2.5 million uh, jobs. April unemployment, 13.3%. The April number was not revised. I want to make that clear. Also, I'm looking at private sector payrolls for May, a gain of $3 million, a gain of $3 million, which is incredible. Average hourly earnings actually down for the month of May, about a percent, which is another surprise. She was talking about that. Again, the unemployment rate for May, 13.3 percent. And we were looking for 19.8 percent, and there goes the market, obviously, on some pretty shocking news right now, i got to say. here. All right, let's talk about manufacturing. Uh, the estimate was for a loss of 440. We actually, surprise here, gained uh, 225,000. We were looking for a loss of 440 manufacturing jobs. We got a gain of 225. Private payrolls, we thought we were going to get a loss of 7.5 million. We got a gain of three million. These are these are incredible. Uh, let's talk about the again the average earnings. Uh, the number they were printed a poll was for a gain of one percent, a loss of one percent. This means people were maybe coming back to work, folks. This looks like pan, uh, companies were actually coming back in. U six was twenty one point two percent. I want to bring that in because Indega made a really good point about that. It was twenty three percent about last month. It's now twenty one point two percent. So it dropped. Month over month, that number could have been a lot worse. Uh, government payrolls coming in at a loss of 585,000. Labor force participation, 60.8. Labor force participation, 60.8. Again, U6 coming in at 20.2. And my apologies, guys, for this breaking news, but I needed to make sure that that was actually what we were seeing because it was so off the charts. And I got to tell you, for the unemployment rate and for the jobs number, the estimates were way off for this report, guys. The, un the range for the job losses was 1.6 million to 17 million, and we gained 2.5 million. That is a shocker, I gotta say. And then the range for the estimate for the unemployment rate, again, way off. Economists were way off. They were looking, I had seen 27% unemployment rate, again, coming in at 13.3%. And that, again, the manufacturing jobs, that's another big shocker here. Again, the estimate down 440. And it was a gain of 225,000. So what we are seeing here is not an unemployment rate that we had during the Great Depression. We still are. Now, we did lose 21 million jobs between March and April. We have to kind of say that. So now if you take off this two and a half million, you're looking at, you know, just under 20 million jobs lost. So, Maria, I, I'll send it back to you in the panel for reaction. But again, had to double check those numbers because that was absolutely not what we were expecting just now. And the markets are, are reacting. Yeah. Incredible.